Okay, I'm going to talk about adenomyosis today. Uh, it's uh, a condition that's not really spoken about much, mostly because uh, many doctors don't even know it exists. Uh, many doctors choose to ignore it. Uh, sadly, it's a very common problem, much more common than what we think it is, and uh, women are suffering from adenomyosis and not taken seriously. What adenomyosis is, the definition is, is that is endometrial tissue which is embedded deep into the muscular layer of the uterus, in the muscle of the uterus. Uh, we don't really know how the tissue gets there. Uh, we do know that women who've had a lot of instrumentation, a lot of procedures done, have more adenomyosis, but could be, there could be other causes. Coelomatic theory is, is one that uh, suggests that these cells are already there at the embryonal level um, in the uterus, while the person is still in the uterus. Regardless, the problem with adenomyosis is that you have these islands of endometrium, endometrial tissue in the muscle of the uterus. There are, whenever you have your period, they're growing, they're bleeding, they're causing tremendous cramping, stuff that's like out of control, uh, fever, um, infertility, and all sorts of other uh, systemic symptoms. I, I read a lot. Um, especially on boards where people, where women are talking about this, they get a lot of systemic symptoms, bloating, crazy stuff, unbelievable symptoms. And uh, the sad part about this is many of these women get told that they're fine, okay? Many, um, in some cases, uh, adenomyosis is associated with endometriosis. So if there's endometriosis there and adenomyosis, sometimes uh, removing some of the endometriosis makes the adenomyosis a little bit better. But the reality is that um, it's not necessarily true, okay? And one thing that happens sometimes is women have adenomyosis and endometriosis. They have surgery, the doctor removes the endometriosis, but the pain is from the adenomyosis. So it's a mess. And, and, the, and the doctor tells the patient, oh, I took out your endometriosis, you should be better. Well, guess what? You have adenomyosis there, and that's what's causing the pain. And the bleeding. And the crazy bleeding, like periods that you cannot imagine, like science fiction type periods, okay? Heavy bleeding that doesn't stop and uh, it's very scary and uh, the big question is what to do. First, treatments, okay? Now, let me just say this, um, it's a very tough condition to treat, okay? There's very few solutions that are permanent and really provide a complete solution. And the big problem because of that is that women who are in the reproductive age and they're trying to still don't have any children or they want to have children really suffer because there isn't like a, a, a good solution. Um, uh, remove, it's difficult to remove adenomyosis from the uterus. If it's an isolated area, it could be done surgically. It's a tough operation, I do it, but it's difficult and it has limited indications. Um, sometimes it has to be done with open surgery and not robotic. Um, and um, for women who have already had their children, unfortunately the only permanent solution is hysterectomy, which is very sad. It's one of the few indications that I actually accept as a treatment for hysterectomy, which is adenomyosis. I don't believe hysterectomy is a treatment for endometriosis, by the way. I don't think it solves anything. I see so many patients who've had a hysterectomy, they still have pain because the doctor takes out the uterus and leaves the endometriosis behind. Um, so, um, unfortunately, hysterectomy is one of the treatments. Uh, um, endometrial ablation is not a treatment. Doctors try it and it doesn't do squat. Um, it may cut down the bleeding a little bit, but the pain persists, so like, don't go for endometrial ablation if you have adenomyosis. Now, how do you know you have adenomyosis? That's a very good question, right? So, ultrasound sometimes can help. If it's really a lot of adenomyosis, it's visible, but the test of choice is an MRI. If you think you have adenomyosis or your doctor thinks you have adenomyosis, you need an MRI, at least you will know. And I have seen patients with a little bit of adenomyosis, but, but terrible symptoms. So the amount of adenomyosis doesn't really correlate. It's a little bit like endometriosis. It's very individual. But I've seen symptoms that are just like crazy, like fever and just pain and cra it's really a very severe disease. And um, I do this one operation for fertility preservation, which is called the OSADA procedure, O-S-A-D, OSADA, which was first pioneered by Dr. OSADA, which involves opening the uterus in half and taking out the adenomyosis. It's a very radical surgery and I do it only in extreme cases, but 
Uh, if you do have adenomyosis and, um, and you haven't found a solution, reach out to me. You can call me at 516-584-8710, it's a free consultation, or check out my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Again, Dr. Vidali.